Good morning and welcome to another weekly vlog. I am Emily from Never Wears Black. Join me on my adventures living a colourful life in Birmingham. Um, I say adventures, that might be over-egging it a bit. Anyway, this last weekend, as I mentioned in last week's weekly vlog, which wasn't really a weekly vlog, it was more of a wardrobe clear out. But anyway, uh, we just got back uh, yesterday from going to see one of my oldest school friends get married. Congratulations, Ben and v. I don't know if they watch these, but still, um, that looked a little bit like this. And now I'm very tired and a little bit croaky. <laughs> possibly still in wedding recovery but I'm on client site today so I've got to go but I wanted to do a quick OOTD before I did. OOTD! It's a trouser day. Pink trousers from ASOS. Yellowy like lemon t-shirts Primark I think. Lemon crop cardies. He's been in these crop cardies all the time um, from uh, New Look last year and the uh, yes the M&S flats. It's a flats day. I need comfort today. <laughs> Morning vlogsters! Oh, the hoarseness from the wedding is still very real. Like yesterday I had to present something to a client and I just went like Bleh. Like literally the noise I made whilst I was talking. I was like, I'm really sorry. I went to a wedding on Saturday and sang along very loudly to 90s tunes and now I can't speak. Um, but anyway, <laughs> it's Tuesday, working from home today but on client work stuff. So won't be vlogging. Uh, but. Oh, and also, just look at the chaos. Look at the chaos. You can tell we're away all weekend and have not tidied up. Look, there's a suitcase still haven't unpacked in the background. Some washing on the bed there. Washing! Hi, washing fans! Uh, there's dresses in the background I was trying on last night for this weekend's wedding. Yes, we're away at another wedding. Um, another old school friend of mine. Um, and it's a camping wedding, it's a festival wedding, I'm very excited. Uh, but anyway, yes, OOTD, and then I'm getting on with the OOTD, um, stripey, simply be Breton, green farleys, lilac, M&S flats, quite pastely, it's quite grey outside, a little bit chilly, so, uh, oh, camera's doing all sorts of lighting compensation there. Uh, right, bye! Good morning, <laughs> happy Wednesday. Uh, today is a day of getting shizzle done with a little kind of sandwich filling of loveliness at lunchtime. <laughs> so, just coming upstairs to uh, drink my coffee and get dressed so I can deal with this nice thing, getting shizzle done sandwich of a day. So firstly, the nice thing is that at lunchtime I'm going to a posy making workshop with Ting. Ting's invited me along, Ting from the Ting Thing and from Brum Bloggers. They invited me along as her plus one and I'm going to do some flower arranging. It's at Maid, um, maid.com, who, which is where our wonderful bed comes from that everyone always asks me about. Um, have got a shop in the mailbox and we're gonna go there and do some flower arranging. I'm very much looking forward to it. The getting shizzle done either side, just admin, like financial admin. I've left my computer downstairs uh, just loading photos and stuff onto it because I need to clear my iPhone out. Does anyone else just let their phone get to a point where it's absolutely jam-packed and have to do a major, major deleting session? Not just me. Uh, <laughs> I have to edit last week's vlog, which is a really short one because it's just a little spring clear-out vlog. Um, and then... Yeah, just just general admin. And then tonight, I think in the extent in the extension of getting jobs done, we're going to try and start packing for the weekend, which is the the camping wedding that we're going to this weekend, which I'm really looking forward to. Hopefully, the weather improves a bit. It's quite grey and rainy out there at the moment. Um, and uh, also try and fix the shower because I'm still having to wash my hair by I haven't got enough hands, but like holding the shower above my head at the moment. Uh, when I'm in town, I need to go and get some shampoo and conditioner, because uh, I can't just get anything. I have to get stuff I'm not allergic to. And I need to start the mission of finding a an insect repellent I'm not allergic to. And don't tell me to use a natural one. Natural ones will be what I'm allergic to. Um, I need just DEET. I just basically want pure, unadulterated, toxic chemicals to spray over myself, please. Ooh, speaking of toxic chemicals, actually, let me get dressed and then I'll speak to you about toxic chemicals. Right, so I'll do proper OATD when I've like got makeup and shoes and stuff on, but I'm hoping, <laughs> I've got my Joni Breast Breakfast Club tea on and it's really creased. I'm hoping just the heat of my body as I sit and work 
we'll uh, we'll sort that out. Anyway, so speaking of toxic chemicals, um, yes, well, over the last couple of days, let's see how my camera does with moving with the light. Over the last couple of days, um, Birmingham, hello Birmingham's out there, have announced that the city centre is going to be, well, they're going into consultation for the city centre to be a clean air zone. So I think the idea is that everything within the middle ring road, um, basically if you have an older, more polluting vehicle, you can't drive it within that area um, and, and you'll, you'll pay a fine, basically, or a charge to drive it within that area. Um, it's gonna be about 10 pounds for cars, could be up to 100 quid for lorries. And in principle, I think this is fantastic. We live within the proposed clean air zone and I know I look at the air quality figures sometimes for our area and they are terrifying, like it's awful. My dad jokes about me living in the smog and how he doesn't want to visit me and how you can see the smog when he goes and walks the dogs up in the hills. And you actually can, like I've been up there with him and you can see it. Um, and they reckon that it could prevent up to something like 900 deaths a year. Like it's obviously terrible for children, it's terrible for like pregnant women, it's terrible for babies, people with asthma, it's just awful. So all of this, very good. Reduce the amount of traffic in the city centre, all good. However, I'm very interested to see how this actually works practically and how, yeah, how we're gonna achieve this without like making lives, people's lives really difficult. Now, personally, we live within the clean air zone, as I said, and we're gonna have to change our car because although I have what I would consider a very nice car, it is too old, um, it's a diesel vehicle. Remember back when we were encouraged to buy diesel vehicles because they were more efficient and better for the environment? <laughs> I bought one. Um, it's like seven years old, but we hardly use our car, so it's in really good nick, and really, I probably wouldn't even be considering changing it if this wasn't happening. Now, for us, Yes, I'm now thinking, right, we need a new kitchen, new bathroom, and I've got to change my car. It's gonna be a pain, it's gonna be something we're gonna have to save for, but it will be achievable. We will make it work one way or another. And I understand that, that we're in a really privileged position to be able to do that. Now, I understand there are a lot of families living within this inner city area who are not gonna be in that position. So for me, I'm already thinking like, oh, this is a bit of financial pain for us. But there are going to be people who just can't afford to change their car and can't afford, yeah, just can't afford to do it. And I think the only proposal for residents at the moment is that residents on low incomes will have slightly longer to do it. And to me, that just doesn't seem sensible. I mean, it's going to make a massive impact on people. It just, yeah. Um, what I think should be done is I do think there should be subsidies and grants for changing to more environmentally friendly modes of transport like i'd love to see um grants from the council towards changing to electric vehicles um yeah just all sorts of things that could be done rather than just giving people a bit longer to do it off their own back being as it is something that a time scale that has been imposed from outside and it's not very long it's 2020 we're already halfway through 2018 it's really not that long anyway i just think it's all really interesting um, but it's gonna be, yeah, I'm actually, this is the age I'm at now. I'm at the age where like, I read council reports. I read this report <laughs> front to back. I object to planning. <laughs> like I comment on planning applications. And yeah, I think I'm probably gonna go to one of the drop-in center, uh, one of the drop-in sessions, um, consultation sessions on the clean air zone because you gotta know what's going on in your neighborhood, haven't you? And, uh, and how it's gonna work. So yeah, there you go. I don't know if that's that exciting to anyone outside of Birmingham. I think Leeds are going through something similar. I know London are, but their plans are obviously a lot more advanced and they have the tube, so you don't really need a car in London. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just think it's like it's gonna affect disabled people, like disabled people who can't easily use public transport. It's gonna affect, yeah, a lot of people. Um, I maybe, and I mean, one of the major questions that keeps coming up is the school run. But I mean, I walked to school from the age of nine, so. <laughs> All the mums watching this are gonna hate me now. <laughs> Rainy day, OOTD. Ta da! There we go. So I've got my yellow, kind of lightweight coat on from ASOS. That will no doubt be getting done up because it is peeing it down out there. I will be using an umbrella. Uh, Breakfast Club tea from Joni. ASOS Farley jeans, 
pink belt, also ASOS, pink trainers, Reebok. Right, I'm gonna run. I'm also, I think I'm just gonna take, I just have not got as much done as I wanted this morning. It's basically taken all morning to do the bit of financial admin I wanted and to shuffle files off my phone. <laughs> Um, so, I have done a bit more than that, I've done quite a lot of like tidying of my computer, um, but no editing, which I really need to get done today. So I'm going to take all my stuff into town with me and I may try and get some coffee shop working in as well. I think I just need to get out of the flat in a different area and I might get more done. So yes, right, got ahead though because I want to grab something to eat before the flower workshop. So I had insect repellent success there in Superdrug. Turns out Jungle Formula Max is just DEET and alcohol. So, <laughs> if you have a fragrance allergy like me, <laughs> gonna be trying that one out. <laughs> Should be fine though, ingredients don't look like there's anything I'm allergic to in there. Hooray! No mozzy bites for me, fingers crossed. Anyway, that little sojourn in Superdrug has meant I do not have time to eat now before the workshop. <laughs> So uh, let's hope we can reserve, live off reserves until afterwards. So relaxing doing the floral arranging and I don't think mine looks too bad. Helps when you've got really pretty flowers to work with. So I've just stopped off at uh, Tom's Deli for Asani. I'm gonna try and get some work done. Well I think those look pretty nice in situ on our console table. I may take them upstairs. But I do like these kind of purples of the berries and you should tell us the name of these, I can't remember, but there's purple tips in the dahlia as well. Um, look quite nice in our uh, in our hallway. Excuse the keyboard full of rubbish. Uh, so I got a whole video edited whilst I was in the Tom's Kitchen Deli and started on my, it's one on uh, my kind of sensitive slash allergic skincare routine, which I've been wanting to sort for ages. So I'm really pleased I've got that edited. I can get that uploaded. Went to do my weekly vlog and it looks like I have, put the kettle on. Um, <laughs> it looks like I have got, I took with me a Duff USB lead. I couldn't get the footage off my camera. Um, sorry for making you feel ill walking from cool light to warm light and dark to light in my flat. I'm just trying to get shizzle done. Told you it was a day with a nice bit in the middle and getting shizzle done either side. <laughs> so I'm now gonna sit down with a coffee. I'm gonna work on the sofa. It feels like a working on the sofa kind of day and uh, get my weekly vlog edited and that needs to go up today. So it's already a bit late really, but hey ho, you'll forgive me, right? Right? I don't know where the time goes. <laughs> I've just had a text from my husband to say he's on his way home from work to do all the DIY job fun times because we need to put the shower back on the wall tonight because I'm bored of showering like this um, and I'm still I finished editing the weekly vlog and I've posted the skincare vlog but I'm still posting the weekly vlog just getting all the links and stuff sorted usually only takes about 10 minutes to get home I am not going to be finished. Also, this tea from Joni is super cute. But it's really making me crave coffee, like constantly. And bacon and eggs. Maybe I'm just hungry. Maybe it's because it's nearly six o'clock and it's dinner time. Husband is home. And I am finally done with this. It's nearly half six now. Uh, so have a quick drink and then probably should get on with the DIY.
because I am already starving and we need to cook dinner as well. Oh, what is this life? Right, I have my tools. Let's see if we can fix this situation. So that would be a nope on being able to fix a shower. I think I'm done for today. Good morning, good morning vlogsters. <clears throat> I'm still a little bit hoarse. <laughs> and I've got another wedding this weekend. Oh, no doubt I'll do more singing, I'll be even more hoarse next week. Um, there's a little song for you. Uh, it's Thursday, I'm on client site today, so just a quick OOTD. I'm kind of over my rage from not being able to, no I'm not. I was about to say, sorry I was grumpy last night. I was really annoyed about not being able to fix the shower, but I'm totally over my rage now. Not over my rage. Not raging. Raging. So bored of having to hold the shower like this to wash my hair. Um, we're gonna have to get a professional in. I could not do it. I won't go into the reasons why. Something that seemed like it would be very simple wasn't, but it wasn't. Anyway, OOTD. So here we go. I think you saw this briefly when I went to the uh, Oasis Brum Bloggers Bullring event thing. I don't think I did you a full length shot. Um, it was on my Instagram that day. Uh, but uh, do you not follow me on Instagram? Oh my gosh, follow me on Instagram. Ooh, an Instagram TV, Instagram Live, or whatever they're calling it now. The long videos, I will be, I've got my channel set up. I will be thinking of things. I'm thinking just like unpacking and little hauls and stuff like that. Would you like that? Tell me if you'd like that. Uh, so yes, Joni dress, she's yellow. And then has a nice floral pattern. Marks and Spencer's lilac shoes. Basically going into the office looking like I'm going to a 1940s tea dance. Maybe I should have gone for full victory rolls. I haven't done those for a while, have I? Do you remember when I used to do like a victory roll at the front of my hair all the time? Oh, miss those days. No, I don't. I can't do I can't do red lipstick anymore, so it doesn't really work. Anyway, <laughs> see you later. Friday! I've washed my hair. Oh, I'm, having, I'm just having one of those mornings. So we're going to the wedding at lunchtime. I'm picking Dan up from work and my packing still looks like this because I've spent all morning trying to sort something out for the next project that I'm working on. This was, I thought was a five minute job. Um, it was not, it was not a five minute job. Just a piece of admin, <laughs> a little bit of admin. But anyway, it's sorted now. It is, oh God, it's like half 10. I've got wet hair. Um, I need to do, I've got two things to do. We can do this, uh, well, three. I need to finish getting my face and hair ready. I need to pack, which I've got all the stuff ready to pack pretty much. So that should be just shoving it in my like camping rucksack. And I need to sort these returns out. Um, on the returns, this was a possible wedding option that I think I'm just keeping for life, which you will have seen all over Instagram and stuff. So do you want a quick look? I'll do a proper OOTD when I actually finish getting ready, but look how pretty. It's the monsoon. If I stand over here, I can have like a garden state moment. <laughs> My arms aren't long enough, but yeah, just blend into my wallpaper. Right, why am I talking to you? I've got shizzle to do. <laughs> Okay, steps one and two are dealt with. Face, hair, sorted, bag, <laughs> packed. It's looking very heavy, so I'm really hoping it's not too far between the car and the tent. We hired a bell tent, which I'm very excited about. I don't know how much I'm actually gonna show you of this wedding, because obviously it's, it's someone else's wedding, um, so re-vloggage and privacy and all of that. Um, so I may just either insert a couple of photos at the end or a little bit of kind of what the tent looks like. You may get nothing, um, but I'm quite excited about it. And it's lovely and sunny. Um, so oh, I'm just rambling, aren't I? Stop rambling and right, returns, do the returns. I haven't shown you the dresses that are going back <laughs> to Monsoon. Um, did I show you the dress that I'm actually gonna wear to the wedding? I think I did, I think I showed it to you in my uh, wardrobe clear out vlog where I showed you the most beautiful sack in the world. Yes, it's a beautiful, shiny, shimmery dress, but it looks like a sack on me. Haven't showed you the monsoon ones though, have I? Um, oh, I'll show you the wedding card though. So cute. 
we got this at Hyper Japan Christmas Market last year because we saw it and we knew we were going to this wedding. We we're like, this is ideal, I love it. Look at the dinosaurs. So cute. I need to write that too. Oh my God. This is just a stream of consciousness, me running around and panicking, isn't it? I'm really sorry if it's really noisy. I don't know how much of it my camera will pick up, but outside they are like pressure washing and cleaning up our courtyard, which is great, but it's uh, really noisy. So here are the dresses that are going back to Monsoon. This is the first one. It's really pretty. I love the kind of floaty sleeve and the V-neck. I wasn't really sure about it. I didn't realize it was quite so empire liney. I also didn't really like this kind of handkerchief hem. I don't know, I felt it. Dan really liked it on me, and I know that my style veers between toddler and middle-aged woman, but I just felt it felt, I felt a bit frumpy on me. Um, I'm sure it looked lovely on someone else. And then the second one, which I hope was gonna be like boho chic flower fairy amazingness on me, which is like this crossover caftan. It was lovely, I did like it, but it's like 130 pounds, it's quite expensive and I just didn't 130 pound like it, if that makes any sense. Like if it had been cheaper, I probably would have kept it. Um, and it's got this little gold pinstripe through it as well, which I wasn't so sure about. Um, yeah, it just, it just felt a little bit like, almost like a swimsuit cover up or something. Like it did feel very caftan -y and it just, yeah, it just didn't feel lovely enough to warrant how expensive it was. Okay, I've got the monsoon stuff packaged up not got the ASOS stuff packaged up. It's half 11. I meant to be picking my husband up in half an hour and I've now got to go to the post office. So I'm gonna leave the ASOS stuff and do it on Monday, I think, because I've got 28 days there, whereas Monsoon is 14, so that'll be cutting it a bit fine. Um, right, I'm going to the post office. Oh. Okay, I promised you a proper OOTD, didn't I? OOTD. So here we go. Monsoon, lemony dress, some Reebok trainers. And that's it, because it's sunny. Oh, and of course, a bit of a legging action underneath to combat any chub rub. Right, I've got to go to the post office and then I've got to go camping. So, just in case, in case I don't film anymore, um, thank you so much for watching this week. I can't really remember what's happened, if anything, um, but I always really appreciate your views. I'm gonna try doing some stuff on over IGTV as well, so if you've got Instagram, follow me over there and I'll see if I can get some like rants up or something. I've got some, some anger brewing about some stuff like, size 18 clothes, where are they in shops? Where are they? You say you do a size 18, where's the size 18? Um, but like, subscribe, comment, and now inside's gonna be some clips for me camping. Or there's not.